Hey guys, Hello Fort here, and I just uh, finished the turn off screen. I'm sorry about that. But um, I finished research on the spinning jenny. So now I, I'll do uh, four field crop rotation. That's smart. And then I just recruited, what's it called, uh, a gentleman from the bees. So we're gonna tell him to march his butt over to Krakow and start research. He's a gentleman scientist. I like that. Okay, so last episode we've been dealing all around the place. I'm gonna try to assassinate this guy again, but he's abnormally witty. Um so we keep failing at taking Prussia. I'm gonna try to let Austria and Prussia put dents into each other while I amass an army. I'm gonna try to assassinate Eugen again. Oh, I accidentally moved my cannon instead of um Pavel. So Ah, that sucks. Uh, Eugen's dead! He's dead! Oh my god. Get out of there. You're a wanted man, Pavel. Oh, my friend Freddy's playing Portal. I don't know if that'll show up on the video, but it is because I'm on Steam. Okay, so what happens when I... Alright, I'm gonna try to take Saxony again, because I want Prussia gone. And then, if it doesn't work, I'll reload a save, but I want them gone, as soon as possible. Okay, men, let's go. Hope I don't lose Stanislav Poniatowski, because he's actually a really good guy. Well, looks like that didn't work out so well. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, so what it happened was I tried to move my forces, but they didn't go far enough, so I'll just park them right here. And with that leftover money, oh, what will I do? Oh, I'll get Galicia ready. It's going to become a pretty big important region soon. Belarus can get one too, just because they've been so patient and angry. Ah, they've been patient and angry, so I figure it's right. So, Oigan's dead. I'm pretty relieved right now. Um, and we're taxing Celestia, no problems. Awesome. Um, alright, so, with that, we'll attack Berlin next time, and my goal is to surround them and see what happens and set up just, you know, attack them immediately, because that seems to have a little bit of a effect. So with that, um, making sure I did my research good, okay, and trade, Diplomacy. We're not gonna get anywhere with that. No, let's. Nope. Can't. We can't start trading with Great Britain. Yet. So I'll just. I'll fire him in this church because my cabinet is off. Oh! Yes! That's good. That's good. So I'll end my turn, and we'll start the winter of 1707. What a cold winter that was. Um, and then immediately after this, 
we will do the thing, our hard save, and what will happen is if it is successful, I will resume playing as normal, and if it's a failed, like I, I lose when they try to break out, then I will just, uh, I'll reload and start over. I'm going to try to take them by conventional means first. So much for amassing an army and letting them, Austria and Prussia s sort of struggle between each other, but I'd like to get them out of the way now. I'm feeling the burn in Königsberg because they still have that Gottfried Arnold, unbelievably successful Protestant minister there. And as soon as I can get him out, I can start recruiting more bishops. That'll help, especially in Silesia and the Dines. Even Lithuania, Belarus, and Galicia are not pure Catholic. Galicia and Lithuania are about 70, but Belarus is 60, so they're a little, they're a little angry too. And when I take Prague, I'm gonna need it. Saxony probably. Hungary no. Rosenberg yeah. Croatia no. Austria no. There's just a little Catholic corridor that, you know, is pure Catholic. Ah! You Celestians cannot go on strike. I need you. New town in Galicia. So you go there. Keep those those people happy. And I think the new town is brought in. Let's see if Galicia is ready for a school. I think they can handle it. And then we'll have one in Lithuania, and those will probably be the only three schools I have in the game. I might step it up to four later on. Probably in... I don't know where I would be. Go to Vienna. Spiegula. Once again, I'm not even going to dare assassinate that Austrian bishop because he's helping me. So, there we go, I'll save, I'll try to, oh, we have a fort now. I'll try to attack him by conventional means. And I lost. Okay, so I'll reload, see you guys. Hmm, I don't know, maybe I'll attack Austria and get five, you know. Because I'm going to have to get more troops if I want to take Dresden. I mean, now that it's fortified, it's just going to be a pain in the ass. Here we go. Austria time. What? Uh, okay, so guys, I just decided to attack Austria, and that didn't go well. So we're just going to camp out in those, that little, whatchamacallit, forest, and, you know, wait it out. So here we go, recruiting some more, and we'll recruit Lithuania for once. See what they have to offer. Now, you know what, I'm going to build roads in Lithuania, if I can. Which I can't. Ah. I'll wait. Okay, here we go. End the turn. We really need to get more military gear to take on these guys. I don't know why. 
I'm having so much trouble, but I am. Maybe I should... Okay, as soon as I get that school in Felicia going, it's going to be dedicated to military technologies. I should probably speed these up. Oh, you dick. You're not taking my stuff. Oh boy. Weaver's cottages in Dinaberg have been completed. And Pavel is in Austria working as a spy. So here we are, we're gonna move in our troops back into there. And I'm gonna launch up some troops so that, you know, they're not as wimpy of armies. Because I guess that is a problem. Whether I realize it or not. Oh, they're good. And what I hope does not happen is that Prussia takes Prague and then Bavaria takes Prague because then I have to declare war on Bavaria who is currently not my enemy. So, see you next time guys. This is Pelican.